Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out in Satisfactory today. Gonna pick up where we left off on Tuesday. Just been in a satisfactory mood lately. So that's where we're that's where we're sitting. Mick Screwgun, thank you ever so much for the tier one sub. Appreciate that. 31 months. That's amazing. Good to have you. Mind Trip Media with the lurk and the 100 bits. Thanks kindly. Great way to kick off the stream. One little support nugget away from a hype train to start off the stream again. Satisfactory seems pretty popular. I also have fixed the uh, alert audio. I um, I was just absentmindedly not realizing how the plugin worked and I had to go back to my Minecraft setup on OBS Studio to look at it and I got 80% of the way there last time and I just forgot to add OBS executables to the monitor list for the audio. And so that's all I needed to do. It, uh, it should be working now. So when you see follows and subscriptions and bits on the screen, they should have an audio alert that goes with them now too. So we are sitting here in the midst of our heavy modular frame production. And I think this is just something I was standing on, yeah. So this is blowing smoke and making heavy modular frames. I don't know at what rate we're doing it. I don't know if it's 100% efficient. We seem to be doing pretty well. Uh, this says 31% because we're low on screws for some reason. Low on screws, low on screws. So there's obviously something wrong. We're not low on screws on this side. So my guess is that there's a belt that's the incorrect speed somewhere. So we'll backtrack from underneath this and double check. Uh, we've got Mark IVs across the board here. Mark IV lifts. So it's going to be one of these two lifts here on the side. I should probably put it in another door. Whoa, that's a hypertube. <laughs> Wouldn't be a satisfactory stream without a accidental hypertube. That's Mark IV. Got Mark IV belts down here. And that's a Mark III belt. That's a Mark III lift. Mark three belt, Mark three lift. And that's fine. Three, 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 three. So the question is, why are those things not getting the right things? Maybe this is wrong. Aha, that is a Mark one. And that needs to be a Mark III. It's annoying because they're going to be the wrong color for the rest of the rest of the game. Yep, so that's what we got to do. So that means that's wrong in the blueprint. So I should go change that in the blueprint as well. That should alleviate. Yep. That speed is picking up. Very cool. Looks like uh, this is backed up, obviously, because the screws are backed up. So we'll just go over here to the blueprint designer. This is the left facing one. And that guy needs to be Mark three. And we'll save that. Oh, 
I guess we'll clear it first. Load the blueprint. Grab the left one. And then make that change. And then save it. And then clear the designer again. Okay, so mistake noted, fixed. So what I wanted to spend a little bit of time on today is kind of going through and decorating some of this stuff because it's it's feeling kind of helter skelter. Uh, the other thing we can do is look at the production and make sure we've got things coming out and going back onto the main bus where we want them to be. And uh, I've got to bring in a belt that is meant to like be a bit of an everything belt that can then be sorted later. And I have not done, done that yet. But I'm pretty sure we've got most of the things in this area are now being used with the exception of this orange stuff here, which is all overflow. We can also update the spreadsheet with things that are done. But some of this, you can see where I kind of started to do some like Devastator themed purple, purple stuff. And then I've got gray concrete underneath the machines. I think that looks okay. Don't know what to do with these big open spaces, but obviously there needs to be some power uh, organization. And I don't even remember removing that wall. I'll have to figure that out as well. Really looking forward to when we get the uh, tiered... Um, the tiered... Uh, what are they called? Priority power switches? Right, so... Third floor. What's happening on the top floor? Uh, a lot of nothing, looks like. Just iron being sent somewhere. Yeah, so this is what I mean by needing to put roofs on things and decorate stuff. I like this look. It's pretty cool. Don't mind that. I think I want to maintain, I don't know whether I want to have like an open space there. It would certainly help with the lighting. So similar to what we have up here with the open platform, I could have another open spot, maybe like here. That's a possibility too. One meter. I just decorated that a little bit differently. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, I try to want to avoid the spreadsheet stuff until it's like nighttime. If I have to, uh, we can take those away. I guess I can also check a few things off my to-do list, can't I? So we're organized. Ah, you know, not bad. We're getting there. Yeah, this is obviously meant to be central, but then a little offset. I don't remember whether these were meant to be permanent. I do find them very tall. I kind of want them a little bit lower. I like this. I like the the skyway there. But I feel like areas like this, we've just been doing this default green everywhere. And I feel like I want to start doing a little bit more color inside. So I did like a little bit of... There's blue signs and a lot of green and purple. But I kind of feel like I want to do... Like maybe those could be blue. I 
I'm also not sure we're keeping these walls. I don't particularly like these walls. Sometimes it's it's nice to potentially use concrete walls. Depend on how you want things to look, how you want to break things apart. And see, I had sort of an idea here on what to do around the edges. I don't think we have a customizer pattern for a corner for those. No, just a straight line. They need to do like a corner piece. That would be preferable. And a good bunch of these are not on either. Okay. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the spreadsheet. Oh, it's not going to, not going to work today. Right off the gate. All right, so we're hovering around the north leg iron smelting and the steel foundry production for heavy modular frames. And we've got uh, from north leg iron smelting, floor number one, we've got smelters, they're doing ingots, and they're going to iron plates, and those are being made into reinforced iron plates but there is some overflow happening and I've got to double check what's happening there so reinforced iron plates first order of business check to see what the heck is going on there Mr. Rigan was asking if the blueprint machine had turned out uh, as you'd like it now that you've been uh, in the game and having experience with it. Thank you, Cosmic. I missed that. Sorry, McShugan. Uh Yes, but the changes that they've made in Update 8 make it a lot better. It's got some shortcomings, uh, but they've changed a lot in Update 8. So the things that they've made in Update 8, I think, are, are big improvements. So that's wire... These are going upstairs. Now here's the other thing that I've managed to screw up. This area doesn't have a staircase to get up to the next floor. It's just this ladder. So this is something I'd like to maybe tackle today. See if we can't put in a way to get upstairs. That's stuff coming out. Where is the temporary... that is all of our plates coming through I don't think these are running at 100% efficiency we're going to have to do a lot of troubleshooting 180 per minute going upstairs to modular frames that is what we have here reinforced 180 and so 40 assemblers they only need 120. Right, so this should be there. And then... This is going to be... Reinforced Iron Plates Overflow. 60 per minute. I've got to find that. <laughs> uh, well, they're going up this way. And they are just one belt. They are split here. And then split again. So 30 in each line. This looks like a row of 10. Yep. So that's the 
120 coming up here. And this is going to look like an empty belt because it's meant to hold 60, but it only needs 30. And I might have removed the overflow. So yeah, I don't see... I don't see any overflow. Are these all, they're not quite doing 100%. So it must be rods that they're low on. Why is it only doing 20%? Oh, cause it's full. Right, we've had that backup. That's something that I've I've done, unfortunately, is I've belted factory to factory to factory instead of factory to main bus. So if something backs up, it takes a little while for things to clear out. So one thing we could do here to try and alleviate this problem is just delete all of these. I wish there was a button that you could just clear the whole machine, like empty, empty machine. Yeah, these are still not moving. It's really, really slow. Okay. So I don't have that extra 120 kicking off anywhere. So I should do that. Uh, no, extra 60, right? Extra 60. And really, that could just be something that we send to, um, like I said, reinforced iron plate storage box and then an awesome sink to bring back to main bus. So yeah, this is going to be something we pulled down. So the easiest spot to do that is going to be probably from here. I would say, well, that's our entrance. So somewhere it's just off to the left of this would be good. I have not left myself very much room. We could do something here. I do have this space. Well, lie. <laughs> I do not have that space. I have this space, I guess. Actually, yeah. What's this? This is... That's the plates, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so that's the plates. And they go up into that. So we could easily have an overflow hooked up here. somehow that's very tidy I can't pull it off of that I have to pull it off of the main line so it has to be somewhere around here And if we're going out to the main bus, actually coming down would make a lot of sense. Because then we can just head back out to the main bus this way. And just find a line for plates. Maybe I have to use this top right um, belt space or uh, just like miscellaneous overflow. 
I feel like maybe I should have put the overflow at the bottom, but I've already used steel for that. Man, there's a lot of spaghetti down here. Okay. So I like the idea of coming down here. The good news is the belt would only have to start here, really. Does anything end? That ends. That's weirdly crooked. I guess I could run a belt down along here if I really wanted to. We could do like a center belt. That was a weird spawn. What's this? This is just something, anything. Maybe... I do have all these um, potential... Uh, crushers over there. I'm wondering if I could use this belt. Maybe this is what I should use for my overflow. Because what I want to do is take some of that overflow that's heading to uh, Awesome Sinks and divert it to what will eventually be a storage room up here so that we'll get our storage top up before things go down and be destroyed. That's the plan anyway. I do sort of have this in the designated low belt. And do we have any room? Eh, sort of. I'd rather do it where I can see it. So if I need to track it down, I can. Got turned around. We're way over here. So if I come out this way, accessing that should not be too much of a problem. It might be better. to just throw a belt here in that space. What's this doing? Output is overflow straight, right is iron rods. So that's an overflow belt as well. I feel like having the overflow closest to the machines is probably a good idea. And I don't know what is currently coming on this belt, but it's not going to be a lot. Most of them are going to rods. So maybe what we'll do is we'll hook the, what's that? That's a regular splitter. We'll hook the overflow iron plates down here. We'll split it off of this, even though that's nice and tidy. Well, we've got room. That's a merger. So we'd have to put the splitter, the smart splitter, essentially in this space. Uh, logistics. Nope. This. That looks like the right height. And so... We might have to bump that a little bit farther back. Because I want to be able to do... This. Yeah. We're probably like two meters back.
Unfortunately, there's no way to do this without breaking things apart. So we'll do Mark two. What is that? It's Mark three. That's a Mark three. This needs to be Mark three. But right now it's not doing anything. I've covered up my signs. <laughs> that was dumb. I don't remember what those say. Uh, signs. Alright. One more time. It's not working again. So what we want here is left, nothing. Center output is going to be um, I guess any? Well we'll do um Reinforce iron plates anyway, just in case something bad happens. And then right would be overflow. I think that's right. 4.5 per minute. So 45. 90, it's 180. Yeah. And then... We'll take the output from the side of this, which is just 60. And that goes right through the crease, which is not what I want. So let's maybe make this, I don't know what this is. We'll go underneath and see where this might want to go. I think I might want to line it up with this one. And then we can take it out there and eventually hook it up to this output line here. That will actually be pretty tidy. Ancients, thanks very much for the raid. Four people coming in. Appreciate you sharing your viewers. What were you up to today on stream? For folks coming in, my name is Joel Duggan. I do streaming and podcasting full time. And uh, we're here in Satisfactory working on heavy modular frame logistics and kind of sorting out mistakes for later so we don't have to deal with too much. This is just weirdly sitting here doing nothing. So really we can connect to this at any point after 
this area where the rods go up. So right here is probably where I'm going to put the splitter or the, sorry, the merger. Here, merger. Try to make that in the middle. And I guess we'll just bring this over to about here. That's two meters. Does that need to be two meters? bring the belt along. And from here, it should be pretty straightforward. We are how many meters above the ground here? On the second one. All right, so I'm going to put a sign in so that future Joel knows what's up. Uh, we've got rods and reinforced iron plates. do okay word nerdify subscribing at tier one 16 months hello hello happy november thanks very much word nerdify And what am I seeing here from nothing from ancients yet? Either way, thanks very much. Appreciate y'all coming in. Feel free to follow here, follow on social media, check out podcasts like the Citadel Cafe and the Spawn Chunks. Citadel Cafe is a brand new episode out today. Uh, we're going to upgrade this belt to be max so the question for me is why are we not getting any overflow did i not program the splitter maybe i didn't program the splitter again i replaced it maybe i didn't oh well there's no <laughs> there's no hookup at all Oh, I need more plates. Don't worry, I have those. Being nice to Future Joel today, that's nice considering how many problems get left to them. Yeah. Future Joel has to deal with a lot. I was watching what Darren plays the other day and he really doesn't like hyper tubes and I can sort of I can sort of see why they are pretty jarring going in and out of them. I hope they improve upon that. So I should probably make the adjustments here first. So this should be overflow, right? 
iron forced reinforced iron plates going straight and then nothing happening that way so it's only going to be if that backs up Okay, um, I guess the question is, why is that not backing up? Because there should only be so many of those needed. I guess we have to wait for these machines that I emptied. They're all full. I guess the belts have to back up. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, <laughs> I already have an overflow on them. That's why <laughs> they're all right here. Found it cosmic. <laughs> it's only like really obvious at the back of the whole place. Well then, uh, this is what you get for playing a really long save over several years. Okay. Um, I mean, that's good. That's all sorted. I guess I can just unhook this. And then things would start going the other way. I just have to put a machine at the other end. I think maybe what the smart thing to do would be to leave this the way that it is and put us another sign at that place for the overflow belt and just say like overflow for reinforced iron plates is upstairs. So I like the idea of having this lower, lower right belt overflow. Need a bigger sign. It's a funny acronym for reinforced iron plates, but you know, hey, here we are. Currently upstairs. So that will be eventually where the iron plates come. So one of the other things that I can do that I find helpful is make a note of that. So this is happening before it gets to the... Uh, right, so what's happening here... is this is coming up here. So we're making assemblers and then what's happening is we have the overflow doing this.
And we'll call this temporary. And we'll do formatting. Where's the wrapping? There we go. And that goes to the reinforced storage box and then temporary being best. So I'm not going to do that. And then this is not, uh, no overflow currently. And then this is going to an overflow belt main bus. And that has reinforced iron plates. And rods. And I guess I'll move that and just, I'm not sure what to put when I don't have, like when the belt just doesn't go anywhere. Currently, Dead end, <laughs> I guess. Sure. Uh, so that is that iron line at least looked at. And now we can actually, I think, say that we've hooked up these modular frames uh, because they are coming out here. Oh, we're losing the light. How long have I been streaming? Oh, it's pretty close to an hour. That's not bad, actually. That's not bad. Either a dead end or it could be called Twitter. Yeah. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> All right. So the next thing that we're looking at is the output of both of these. So that's, that's one and that's the other. And they both get taken down and along here. We did this on Tuesday. And I'm just trying to decide if I want to keep them along here. And if I wanted to continue to bring them up, this is where the decoration sort of comes into play. Because I could very easily bring them up through the ceiling instead of across the floor like this. Yeah, see, they come in here and over there, but they could very easily come in on the floor here. Anyway, without the light, it becomes a lot more difficult. So what we're going to do is jump on a train. The idea with the second overflow that I just built is that, well, one, I didn't realize I had one. Uh, but then also, this way, I wanted to um, I wanted to eventually move everything towards the storage. Because right now I've got to run around the base everywhere to get things. It's good to have them. It's lovely to have bins of all the things that I need. But it's uh, a bit of a pain to um, 
it's a bit of a pain when you're running out of stuff to just have to run and restock. So in a good way, we've got bins everywhere. But in a bad way, <laughs> um, we have bins everywhere. <laughs> All right, folks, if you're new to the stream, I take a break once an hour. In Satisfactory, that works out to be a little bit less than an hour just because the, the day cycle is about 50 minutes. Uh, so I'm going to step away while this train does its thing, and I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
All right. Uh, looks like we might be having some trouble with the leaderboard. I don't exactly know why it's no longer working. It was working the other day. Um, I can try and see. I wonder if Streamlabs or Stream Labels didn't load. I've had some problems with my Stream Deck not doing what I want it to. I'll try that. If this updates, then that was the problem. So it should be Word Nerdify as the latest sub. Hopefully that worked. Yeah, so with OBS Studios, you have to have um, stream labels going at the same time. And for some reason, my button that I press on my stream deck is no longer launching all of the things that I need launched when I stream. And I don't know what's changed. So I will look into it. I will look into it. Just as a heads up for anybody that's here and hanging out, uh, it might be a shorter stream today. Just have a bunch of other things that I need to get done. I don't know whether it's my graphic settings or or what, but I do feel like the train tracks render in very strangely. Kind of immersion breaking. Hey, Meadow, how's it going? Okay. So, we were looking at the modular frames. And I need the hover pack back. Are the pockets that big? Where does the train go? Yeah, who knows, right? So we could run things upstairs. That could look kind of cool. I think what I need to do is maybe continue this pocket wall down. So that instead of coming out onto a balcony here, even though that does look cool, um, we'd have a wall there. I guess we could have a wall here. So either way, I mean they are they are connected. So even if I change it down the line from a functionality situ situation they are sorted and I believe we're making exactly the amount that we need so yes that is hooked up although it may be a bit of a a temporary um, we'll say temp design so uh, 
next thing is the north oops north floor iron smelting two Kind of one of those streams where I'm refreshing my brain as to where things are. Floor two. I didn't mean to do that with the sheet still on, but we need to go back to the sheet anyway, so sorry. Uh, we're just, we're back at the iron place. So we've got, I'm sure all of this is fine. Devastator North Leg Iron 2, 32 constructors doing rods. And then we've got Overflow. So that's 600 and then 480. So why are these slow? Or are they backed up? They're backed up. So that's good. I'd rather have smelters backed up than machines not getting what they need. So that is probably a 480. Yeah. Wait a minute. That should be, that should be more than a 480. That should be a five, right? Mark five. 30 times 20. Yeah, see, this is why I do this, because that's actually the wrong, wrong thing. That's a Mark II. That's a 480. And the 480 is feeding all of our rod machines, which I believe are just next to us over here. Yeah, 32 constructors, 480 rods per minute. So that is right there. And that's going, we know that's, that's going to the constructor. So the overflow is, is set up wrong here. And that's what I wanted to check. So first things first, that should be five. That's getting 480. This should be um, center output. So what's going on there? What's that feeding? Is that splitting? into two inputs. Yeah, because there's four, there's two rows. So that, this here is Mark 5, 600, and we're sending 300 there and there, correct? Uh, 15 per times 20 no 16 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 yeah 16 15 times 16 is 300 right 240 so 240 and 240 that's the 480 okay so 240 means that I've made these belts too fast. Oh, 
Oh, no, wait a minute. There's where it gets split into the... No, that's still wrong. What does each row need? Eight times 15, right? So 120. And these are all, I think they're all black belts. No. Okay, let's change the customizer to standard. Thank you, Cosmic, for being awesome. Appreciate it. So what I did here is that I split it twice at the rate that it should have been only split once. So we need... This is going to be split um, 240, 240, and then 120. So it's doing it right, it's just that the belts are a weird speed. Yeah. Oh, just hold on a second, folks. I'm going to get a quick phone call here. Well, my day is all over the place today, folks. Uh, sorry, I'm going to have to cut the stream short. I've got a business thing that got moved around and I got to go. So, so much for that. We didn't really do a whole lot, so it's not really anything being missed. It's not like it's a big satisfactory session for, for anybody that has been following the series. Um, I'll post a couple of screenshots maybe in the Discord or something like that to kind of keep everybody up to speed. Uh, there'll be the VOD here, of course, on um, on Twitch. But... Uh, check me out tomorrow. Should be back streaming regular time, 1 o'clock Eastern. Sorry, 1 o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours now that we're on Atlantic Standard Time. And uh, make sure you check out the Citadel Cafe and the Spawn Chunks podcasts. Both of those have new episodes out this week. And uh, more stuff coming on Monday because Trial Chambers were in the snapshot this week for Minecraft. So lots to talk about. Also, check out Pixariffs. I think is Pixariffs streaming right now? Uh, I believe Pix was planning on doing a stream with the Trial Chambers today. So if we can send you all to Pixariffs, that would be awesome. I don't see... He was earlier. Okay, cool. That's fine. Um, I don't see anybody else playing Satisfactory. 
This tadpole's not live either. Uh, who else is around that we can forge you to? Oh, there's Scotsman UK. Yeah, let's do that. I'll forward you all on to Scotsman UK. Fantastic streamer in the UK, as one might imagine. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks again. Sorry that this is short, but uh, we'll try to make it up later in the week. Bye for now.